Father, good morning. Thank you for letting me address you today. I'm here to speak to you about the Knights of Columbus and what they mean to you, your family, and our community. The Knights of Columbus began in 1882 and are composed of over 1.9 million Catholic men who were dedicated to the practice of charity. In 2016, the Knights of Columbus internationally donated more than $178 million and more than 75 million man hours to those in need. In the past 31 years, we've donated more than $30 million to fund the education of seminarians and novices to the sisterhood. Locally, the Abbott Pennings Council is involved with the De Pere parishes through donations to our Catholic schools, working fundraising events, sponsoring youth ministry trips, cooking bouillon, and whatever it takes to get the job done. We make donations in both time and dollars to improve the quality of life for citizens in this area by helping those with intellectual disabilities, those suffering from illness, the homeless, and the needy. We have programs for the youth, including punt, pass, and kick, free throw, Christmas poster, and knowledge contests. We've also donated more than $5,000 to both Our Lady of Lourdes and Notre Dame schools this past year. In 2016, the Knights of Columbus donated $51,000, more than 20,000 man hours to the needs in this community alone. And this is what we're about, helping others. However, we're more than this. We are dedicated to the family. We're one of the few organizations dedicated to the sanctity of life in all stages. We specialize in getting families involved in church and community activities. And lastly, something we're very proud of, we become evangelizers Christ called us to be at our baptism by showing our neighbors what a Christian should be and therefore become a force of good in our homes, churches, and communities. Like many of you sit in the pews this morning, I once sat in a pew and heard a message very similar to this and thought to myself, I don't have time for another organization with work, kids, and school activities. And then I thought, maybe this is something I'd like to do when I retire, when I have more time. But like we've heard in the Gospels, Christ has called us to action. I was at a point in my life where I was looking for a way to give back when I felt called by Christ to do more. I've been truly blessed. My journey started with a discussion to find out more about the Knights. After I joined, I was only able to par participate in a couple of events that first year. What I found is that many of those events I was able to bring my children along and get them involved and teach them the importance of charity and helping others. As my kids moved from middle school into high school, this became an outlet for them to record community service hours, which was a huge win-win. But most importantly, it has allowed my wife and I to bring our whole family closer to Christ. If you feel your own personal calling or are looking for a way to give back, the Knights of Columbus are for you. As you exit Mass today, there are a number of Knights that are willing to answer any questions you may have. And for those of you who don't have enough time this morning, just give us a moment to put your name and phone number down and someone from the Knights will contact you in the next week or so. Remember, whether you live or die, you are in Christ. What better way for change than to join the Knights of Columbus? Thank you and God bless.